Porsche Prie owners, gentlemen, start your engines. We are looking at heritage offering for the uh, Prie's coupes. And we're actually looking at two full interior kits here, both uh, on the way to Melbourne, Australia. I'll, I'll put it, I don't, I've never plugged uh, any of our customers, we, uh, trade customers, but I must say, uh, Greg Newton in uh, Melbourne, Australia, if anybody's looking for very high quality, uh, accurate restorations of Porsche, um, particularly the early cars, he's your man. Stunning work, a, a master with, uh, with metal work, but a, a good all-rounder and a great guy. Highly recommended. So we're looking at uh, two orders here for Greg. Um, he's been very patient. We're never the fastest, and uh, that's not what we try to be. We try to be the best, and, uh, and I think we've, we've succeeded here. And uh, I want to show you guys step by step, and uh, I'm confident by the end of the video you'll be a believer. Uh, let me just start by saying that uh, we at Heritage make the very best Porsche 356 interior products in the world, second to none. And again, I will prove that in this video. There's lots that separate us from the pack. Uh, fit, finish, accuracy, quality of materials, correctness of materials and techniques. Um, and uh, this finished work is laid out here on the bed of our secret weapon this uh, expensive cat controlled cutting machine and uh, a lot of our product not all of it but a lot of it is cut on this machine and uh, give you an example here this is a file we have up for a Porsche uh, 911 uh, you can see the nesting of the carpet so we roll out the square weave carpet which is at the end of the Gerber well, I can see that we're running out of the battery here, so uh, let me just uh, take a break, grab a glass of wine, and uh, charge the battery. And I'll okay, be back. guys, we're back. The wine will have to wait. I do this at the end of the day when the crew's gone home, so I can focus and it's quiet. Uh, so um, we'll continue on. I've got a battery here with about 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Another one on charge. Okay, where was I? So uh, I was showing the machine. I was showing the square weave carpet that we import from Germany. We have all the original colors. Uh, we roll this out on the machine, press a button, the carpet set's cut out in about a, two minutes and 10 seconds. It's uh, very impressive. Uh, we use it for lots of other things. For instance, we, we, pat, we use it to cut panel boards. It, it'll cut through eighth inch uh, a mahogany and birch ply like butter. Uh, as you can see the panels here, the, these panels are also made a uh, cut on the machine. You see it, the machine also uses chalk lines. Uh, it has a pen holder. And, um, and of course, the great, the great thing about that, the headliners, they, they're, they're all cut on the, on the machine, even the tack strips that are attached to the headliners. And uh, yes, uh, it really um, separates us from the pack. Uh, the leather is still hand cut. Uh, to take care for uh, picking and selecting the best leather for the application. Um, all the materials are uh, imported from Germany uh, exactly as original, closest uh, that we can get anywhere in the world to it, and we uh, come very close. The, uh, we have corduroy available in, in about 10 different colors. Um, Greg here has picked a lovely gray, uh, gray, gray combination for the corduroy and leather. Uh, we don't have the full interior laid out for this gray. This is the 60, sorry, 53, the early car. You can tell by the little cover plates there. Um, and um, also a dead giveaway is the fact that it's written right on the back of the panel, <laughs> like a cue card. Um, and these uh, aluminum or aluminum panels, the you Aussies, Brits, Kiwis, and South Africans. Um, factory original and actually Greg reproduced these beautifully and uh, sent them along um, yes sent them along we have uh, interior car, cars sent for us all over the world we have orders currently on the books we have a, a 356 uh, um, what is it is a B coupe I swear to God yes in San Salvador El Salvador uh, pulled it out of a barn there since the 1980s 
Uh, we've got orders from Mexico, uh, the UK, Australia, of course. We do lots in Australia. New Zealand, Brazil. What else have we got? Norway. You name a country, we ship it. And often through the year, check with us. Not always currently with the COVID and the flights that are not flying. Passenger flights, but sometimes we, we uh, have incentives of free shipping offers. Uh, there's uh, Porsche seats over there. 911 is going to Johannesburg. So uh, yes, you can send us your entire interior as Greg did with these two, uh, both left-hand drive cars. So let's get to it. Let's look at some of this in, in more detail. Um, for instance, the recline mechanisms on this seat were completely rebuilt by us here. We, we don't particularly like doing this kind of work. It isn't upholstery, but it is a service that we offer one stop shopping, uh, Greg and others choose to send us their seats complete and then we disassemble this. It's very difficult and careful work. Uh, every piece has to be plated separately and reassembled. It's a Swiss watch in here. It, uh, there is a lot of stuff. And uh, you can see uh, we've got a great uh, local chrome shop. Does a beautiful job. So you can see all that's been done. The original screws have been put back in. Um, so that Greg can deal with those, uh, we're changing them out as he wishes, we'll get them plated. Um, then we got, uh, let's see, is that balance? Yeah, look at that, isn't that beautiful? You can see that and the, the nickel plating on the bar at the back. Um, and then, in this particular case, these wooden frames were in pretty poor condition. They needed to be re-glued and, and repaired and um, new tack strips put on, on the seats and uh, burlap. Uh, you can see the, the strings that pull the, the cords. We have a propriety technique for the for the pulls in the seats. You'll see how just how perfect they are. The the way we do it is with two strings. We don't we don't uh, use strings for this section here. We have another technique, but the technique that we use ensures that this this look this correct look stays um, and is not lost when uh, snit strings inevitably snap, which they do, and end up you end up losing this look. But you can see how we've achieved now. There's some chalk line in there that's got to come off, but uh, you get you get, uh, you get what we're doing. Um, case in point, uh, the the rear seat uh, cushion here uh, it has wrinkles, but uh, that's because it needs to be glued under tension as it goes into the car. So there you see it and as it as you bend it let's just see what i can do with one hand anyway you get what i mean as you bend this flat it uh it comes out um you can't can't pull this out on you can on the frame as you can see here anything that's got a wooden frame it can pull against but this is a uh, molded foam uh to replace the original horsehair and uh because of it's because of its softness it uh it ends up um uh, having this look until it gets glued in. Um, we also, in this particular case, we've repaired all the, look at that brand new panel on the back that's cut by the machine. Um, the steels were sandblasted and painted. This was all disassembled the wood and re-glued back together uh, to be like new. Uh, the carpet is not on the back of this. There is a reason. Uh, let's just set that aside for now. And we go with the door panel and the, the original um, piping and uh, the big piping on the bottom of the door exactly as original and of course the seat backs over there we'll look at uh, this one here um, Greg chose to have I uh, forget the spec on this but uh, he wanted these in leather uh, so we've done those nicely for him there and um, yeah so let's pause there let me um, Let's look at the carpet in more detail uh, and then we'll start to clear some stuff so I can uh, make room. Okay guys, we're looking at the carpet here in the nice oatmeal square weave. Uh, we've, um, lots of our customers, including this customer, has chose to go with a complete carpet set. So we are making the pieces that were originally in rubber, rubber mats as carpet. Uh, so these pieces were originally rubber mats and now uh, we're supplying carpet. You can see how we deal with the holes. We bind around them in matching leather. You see how beautifully that is done by the pedals and the heel pad and all the binding is machine bound uh, with vinyl binding uh, as original. And then we have leather listings here on the pockets at the front that gets wrapped around onto the A pillar. <coughs> um, 
and of course every piece there's the there's the ones for the uh, rear quarter pillars there um, what else we got anyway every piece that's original to the car it, it would have been originally rubber mats there and uh, as you can see it turned out uh, very nicely um, and we've got the um, carpet on the back of this one here I'll show you that in a sec uh, uh, customer sent us these um, these pieces to be covered so we've wrapped those in the square weave um, and you can see the carpet used on the back of this seat and with the vinyl binding as original now um, let's uh, pause there clear some of this off and uh, we'll start to look at the panels in greater detail okay and we're now looking at our perfectionist panel kit our perfectionist panel kit for all 356s includes all brand new fully upholstered panels as you can see and fully sewn covers ready to install onto the car uh, if there's other additional covers needed like on the later cars the leather for the dash they're supplied as pre-cut pieces of course the A's are painted dashes and caps so uh, not part of this kit but uh, of course we've got represented here the early uh, 53 version with the two pleats in corduroy and then the leather spec version here for the 55 uh, it has a uh, characteristic fat pleat we call it it's a much much heavier pleat than later cars um, this is the the look of the pre-a pleat um, quite quite uh, quite a bit uh, more bulk than uh, the later cars um, then we've got uh, the brand new steel clip on the back that's laser cut and and exactly as original ready to uh, to fit right onto the car <coughs> This panel that I showed earlier, of course, it gets bent the other way and it becomes tighter and uh, riveted through the rear bulkhead. Uh, rear side panels here, corduroy in this particular case, and again, uh, leather here. Uh, the um, Again, the wrinkles, this is a probably a better example, look at that. They get pulled right out, okay? And then once this is put in, it gets brushed brushed out and, and all these uh, marks come out. The um, same with the leather there, see the dimples here? Let's just demonstrate it. It's easier, I was trying to do it with the rear seats there. But I can do this with my elbow. So there's the dimples, right? There you see it, no you don't. So when you pull that in tension, this gets fixed and glued, nailed down at the bottom. And uh, then you pull upwards and then glue like that and they become dead straight. So that's how those are dealt with. And um, yeah, that's the panels. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the headliner and then finish up with some more with the seats and I think we got it. Then it's definitely wine time. Okay, you can see uh, the 55 and the 53 there, slightly different tack strip of the front. Lovely grey wool cloth, of course, and then the fawn wool cloth for the, uh, for the later car. Uh, beautifully top stitched here, as you can see as original and then the tack strip sewn in and then all the other pieces that you need and there are several rectangles and other shapes are supplied um you know sunroof non-sunroof it's all there ready to go and so those are the headliners and now we'll swing our attention to the um headrests uh, this customer greg chose to go with new headrests so we sew the covers make the foams and then the frames are from a friend in Germany that reproduces them beautifully and then we completely assemble them and we're able to sell these as complete so if your car didn't come with it there was always an option and in fact inside you see it's not many people not everybody knows this but there is provisions for every 356 seat to take headrests there is two plates that are back in here uh, <coughs> ready to receive self-tapping screw screws and a headrest installed but you can see the attention to the detail and originality you can see how we've carefully box stitched this across the bottom time consuming difficult work but that's how it was done at the factory and that's how we do it i would also like to point out at this this point if you're considering us for your uh, uh 356 and they're probably looking at this you've got an, an a coupe no big surprise pre a coupe uh, but I would encourage you to look to the other 356 videos. It's not just this one to get a consensus, a sense of what we what we do here at Heritage. 
Um, and I can see my battery going again here. So uh, again, check out that um, section and you'll see um, other cars, other models, and uh, it's the machine in action and uh, it's interesting viewing. So I'll leave it there, guys. I th well, the battery's flashing and I think we've uh, covered it all. Um, we're very pleased with the way this turned out. And we're confident our customer will be too. Everything we sell is unconditionally guaranteed to fit and be as directly original. Samples available worldwide. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the presentation and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you, guys.